I'm John P. Funk with the Cosmic Funk Studio, and I'm here to talk about build-it-yourself robots. So here today we have with us J65, who is my robot that I made for my movie called The Quest for the Dark Planet. And he's made out of old uh, recycled toy parts that I had uh, lay laying around, and some stuff I bought new in the store, some stuff I got off of eBay, like this rad robot which I use the base from this guy to make the base for my J65. Other parts included on this robot are a Darth Maul lightsaber from our Star Wars films, a Space 1999 Eagle toy parts from an uh, old 1970s television show, and other assorted pieces from other toys. Like this old UFO attack toy I had when I was a kid. Which makes the uh, head component of the robot. The robot's also built from uh, two different remote control vehicles. And he turns and he lights up and does all kinds of neat stuff. The, the robot took quite a few months to make in my spare time. And the basic tools that I use for making the robot are your, you know, your, your screwdrivers and, and you know, b your basic tools like that. But you also need a Dremel tool or some kind of a roto tool for cutting the plastic, hacksaw, and soldering iron for soldering uh, the LEDs and the electronics. So as you see here, I have the remotes from two of the different uh, RC vehicles that I cannibalized, which uh, you know, make up all the, the motorized sections of the robot. So the, uh, the arms are made from these robotic uh, hand claw grabbers that I got at the dollar store. And I used five of them to make all the different joints on the, on the hand itself. The midsection of the robot uses an Arctic Shock water gun. And then the various other plastic parts are taken from old toys or uh, sheet plastic styrene that I have in abundance that you can get at uh, any plastic you know, store. I go to Regal Plastics here in Austin. You can buy a whole sheet, really uh, real cheap, for about 15 bucks. And lots of uh, time and patience, and especially a lot of paint. This robot, I think, used like uh, two cans of silver spray paint. It was primed with a gray coat, and then I used a uh, clear blue to get the metallic finish on top. So there, there you go. There, there's how you do a do-it-yourself robot using your recycled toy parts.